Hey, this is Mike with Drumline. I'm with Charlie Waddell at Access Percussion in Columbia. And uh, you're going to tell us a little bit about your store. I uh, felt like I walked back into Drum Headquarters in a way. Yeah. But uh, now we got this place to uh, enjoy. So tell us about uh, what you're doing here. We're trying to bring the boutique model of, uh, you know, the drum shop model to this region of the state and uh, offer, you know, great products at great prices. We're trying to ha make sure that we have a a broad selection of offerings for drummers and percussionists of all levels and and uh, we teach lessons we've got some fantastic instructors and a great uh, lesson program we do service um, we rent out gear um, you know just trying to be a full service uh, drum shop well this area is mid-missouri but you have regional customers you said we do we have people from all over the state and uh, a few from outside of the state even we've been here for uh, it'll be two years in august so, uh, you know, we're happy about the way things are going and things continue to get better for us all the time. Well, drums are a brotherhood. And you, when you come into an environment like this, you can tell that, you know, this is the kind of store that is the hang store. Yeah. Not just like the product store. Yeah, yeah. One of the things that one of the goals that we're trying to do is, um, you know, Jim Uting at Drum Headquarters had mentioned to me at one point that one of his goals was to, to make what they had there kind of the town hall for drummers and percussionists and that's we're trying to carry on that same tradition and uh hopefully sort of pick up where where jim and rob left off where jim left off and um you know carry on in that in that vein and really offer something different something specific for drummers and percussionists not you know we don't want to be the kind of store that dabbles in that or anything anything else i've been asked like if we would carry guitars and stuff like that and you know the answer is no because i don't know anything about guitars so the, the nor goal, do we want to know exactly the goal is <laughs> <laughs> the goal is is to is to really serve um the underserved drummer and percussion um percussionist world i suppose so Okay, well, you're doing a fantastic job. And We're working hard at it. Beautiful store. Thank you. It's uh, it's it's fun to walk into a place where yeah, they got a cool drum shop and uh, go check it out. And then you walk in here and you're like, yeah, you're right, it is cool. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, like I said, we're really we're we're working very hard at it. We're still, you know, young and in our I would say in our infancy, so to speak. But uh, we're trying to 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 do it what we feel is the right way and and uh, not really reinventing the wheel, but but just bringing a different business model to this area. What is your uh, what is your background, uh, or how did you get into this? It's pretty uh, varied. <laughs> okay, uh, you know, the, I was a gig. I'm a gigging player, and okay. and uh, I was very dissatisfied with uh, the offerings that I could find locally and regionally. <clears throat> excuse me for the products that I needed when I was gigging, and so, um, you know, I would always travel to Kansas City or St. Louis, and uh, when I needed stuff and I go to drum shops in both of those cities, and uh, I just felt like we could do the same type of thing here, and um, kind of just change the way business is done when it comes to these types of products and these types of services. So um, that's really kind of where the impetus came from. But as far as my background, it's extremely varied. I've, I've, you know, been a firefighter, paramedic. Um, I have owned. Uh, I owned a construction company for a while, and um, you know, it's uh, this just made sense to me. I think I guess I don't. I think it all comes down to the drums in the end, no matter what you end up doing. Yeah, I think you gotta so. Get, get back to that. Yeah, absolutely. What you love doing. Absolutely, you know, and and it uh, it's great to be able to meet lots of different people. And um, I thought I had an idea when I was formulating this i this this concept and, and building a business plan and so forth of what my clientele base would be and it's it's really far beyond what what my imagined it would be there's people of all different stripes that um, are interested in drums and percussion and um, you know whether they're gigging players or just you know people that are playing in their basement at home for their own enjoyment there's there's lots and lots of of people out there that really enjoy um, 
the art of, of drumming and, and the art of percussion. This can be like a tough retail business. It's very much a niche market. It's a small percentage. But, you know, the more people play drums than you would think because of the hand drums and things. Oh, absolutely. Um, but um, places like Vic's Drum Shop will come along and just blow it out again in, in a big old retail environment. Absolutely. So, you know, it's a tough niche market in a way. But at the same time, if you service that need with really cool stuff. Yeah. Well, I think if you do honest business with people, too, I think that that, that resonates with people. And they recognize that you're really here, you know, trying to do something very specific and, and you know, very worthy. It's definitely worth the, worth the effort. You're doing a great job. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Right on.